Our next guest loves food and she wants to help us all sweeten up our holidays. So joining us with some easy homemade treats is Katie Rose Watson, creator of The Rose Table. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, I'm so happy. And, and, and I should explain to everybody, The Rose Table is your blog, your website. Yes, it's a food and lifestyle website all about savoring life's pleasures. So I post a lot of uh, original recipes, party ideas, yes. in-depth travel guides, stuff like that. Okay, so let's start out with the sugar cookies because this is something a lot of people will make every year. Yes. You have a, a trick to just kind of make them really special. Yes, make it a little bit like holiday extra. So we're going to yes. make my Fiori di Sicilia sugar cookies. Okay. Fiori di Sicilia just means the flower of Sicily and that's an orange vanilla extract. Smells so good. So, so that's let's get what you add that makes it Yes, different. makes it so special. So we're going to start with a half a cup of butter and a quarter cup of vegetable shortening. So that's a little bit different too that you use both, not just one of the other. Yes, yes. I think it adds a lot. It just gives it that perfect texture. So we're just going to let that fluff up for just a second. I love that you and I are both dressed in Christmas already, and you have like, More the Christmas <laughs> version of the KitchenAid mixer. I know. Isn't that so convenient? <laughs> so then just a cup of sugar. Get it all in there. Okay. Can't go wrong. I mean, what a great way to start, right? Butter and sugar. Yes, I'm with you. Yeah, <laughs> sugar cookies are, are a classic, and I like them yeah. too because they are convenient to mail because you can stack them. And we still do mailed out cookies. So you know, it's interesting that you said that too because I I thought about making these all beautiful with like the royal icing that you see on Food Network that's like so gorgeous. But personally, I would rather have a mouthful of like a good old-fashioned butter vanilla frosting. Yeah, okay, a little bit harder okay. to stack. But, there you go. You know, I like the taste better. So this is the magic ingredient. This is Fiori di Sicilia. Uh -huh. So this is an orange vanilla extract. And it's actually, if you want to smell it, is less expensive than a vanilla extract. Oh, and I'm so orange. obsessed with it. See, I, orange is my favorite color and flavor. So yes, Well, perfect. You, you will love these. Fun. And I we're going to do one teaspoon. And I really love this because I just put it in everything. And it makes everything taste so holiday special to me. And fun fact, I actually get more hits on my website with people searching what to do with Fiori di Sicilia than anything else. Because it's oh not. Oh, my gosh. That's like your thing. It's kind of become my thing. I put it in whipped cream. I put it in cakes. I put it in everything. It just makes everything taste so good. Okay, let's beat that throw in. the rest of the stuff in here, even though I know it might okay. not be the right consistency yet. So okay, so we're going to add our eggs. Two eggs. Whoopsies, I just got a giant chunk I mean, of, it's okay. We of, only have one more minute, so let's Okay. Just, we can kind of just talk everybody through. You'd put okay. in the eggs and the flour. Yes, yeah, so you would add the, your eggs and then your dry ingredients. This is two and a half cups of flour with one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder. And then you let that chill. Bake at 400 for about five to seven minutes. Now, really quickly, this frosting yes. is so fun. Yes, yeah, so we're going to start with three cups of powdered sugar. And to that, we're going to add our melted butter. So this is the candy cane brownie. This is candy cane brownie. Got a couple of tablespoons of milk. This is what makes it candy cane. We've got an eighth of a teaspoon of peppermint extract. There we go. And I'm just going to stir that together. And what's really nice about this is most frostings you have to use an electric mixer uh -huh. and have softened butter. And you can just pull this butter straight out of the fridge and melt it and then stir it and together. And it'll still work with this one. And it'll still work. So you okay. can see it's starting to come together. No, and and something quickly. else that I like about this is she said, Jenny, it's okay. It's a busy time of year. You can do the box yes. brownie and then just add this to yes. kind of make it your own. You absolutely can. Uh, if you want to add, just make um, a box brownie, just add like an eighth of a teaspoon of peppermint extract. Oh, to, to get, the brownie. Yes, to the actual brownie mix. And then look how gorgeous that is. Now let me so show everybody some crushed candy the final product. Yes. I hate to have rushed you through this, but you just put in so many good tips. There's the brownies, there's the sugar cookies. The best news is that she's going to share the recipes with us. So Absolutely. Thank you, Katie. Thank awesome you so job. much for letting me come. And we appreciate the Rose Table. We'll put a link up to her website on our website, fox4news.com.